Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am testing out new lip products from Valentino. These are the Liquiroso 2-in-1 Soft Matte Liquid Lipstick and Blush. Oh wait, I already put blush on. We'll wipe it off. We'll test these as blushes. I had my makeup on this morning and so I kind of forgot uh, to not apply this. But these are $40 each, which is really up there in price. It is a liquid formula. Apparently it's hydrating, a matte finish. Uh, it says here, it's an easy to wear, buildable soft matte liquid lipstick and liquid blush in one. Uh, peony extract, up to 12 hours comfort, amino acids, lightweight finish, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so these come in different colors. Um, there's some fun colors, some brighter ones. I went two nudes and two, I thought they were a little bit brighter, but by the swatches, they seemed still kind of very wearable. I was tempted to get that pink is punk, which is was kind of like the face of the liquid lipstick, but I never wear those kinds of lipsticks and I just didn't want to buy that and never wear it again. So I picked four colors. I picked the um, Into the Nude, After Club, Undressed Velvet, and See You Later. The outside packaging is actually really cute. It has a beautiful brownie nude color, gold, and then the packaging is, again, the cap it has that more nude brown color, and then, you know, you can see the color through. This is plastic, it is not glass or anything like that, and I, I think this packaging reminds me of the concealer packaging. This is the concealer, this is the lipstick, so it's exactly the same packaging, just different colors. Now, the doe foot applicator is quite interesting, it's, if you can see there, it has a point almost like a diamond shape at the top and so I'm very curious how this is going to apply the product I did swatch these just when they arrived and they seem not super pigmented they seem kind of like light and more muted um, so I'm very curious how these will build up on the lips I'm gonna swatch these so I'll kind of show you when I swatch them they're so light they don't have a ton of pigment and as you can see it's a very liquid it almost looks like a stain I do think once it this dries down it feels like you could build them up but they're so incredibly light these are liquid they're not creamy or moussey or anything like that so I just thought that this this was just a different formula see it kind of moves the product around it does not feel matte right now um it just feels, dare I say, a little bit silicone-y. Um, and look, it's spread out into nothing. So I'm just kind of curious how this is going to look or stay on the lips. I have a feeling that they're going to dry down and they're going to, you know, stay on decently. But it just seems like it takes a little bit to build up the color. So I'm going to try to build up the color quite a bit on the swatches that I'm gonna do. This is the After Club, and this is more of a peachy color. Okay, so this next one does have a little bit more pigmentation from first application. Ooh, and this is kind of, this is kind of pink. I don't know if I like that. This is supposed to be a nude color, like a more cool tone nude color. This is called the Into the Nude, and that looks pink to me. Next one is See You Later, which is supposed to be a burnt, warm, a red orange. And this color looked beautiful online. And I have a feeling that these, you can kind of shear them out or build them up. And then the last one is this beautiful red. This is called Undressed Velvet, and it is a deep, warm red. That's it right there. So. Here we have them up close. I'm looking here and honestly, it doesn't even say that it's supposed to be this super long lasting product. They don't have claims of this being, you know, 12 hour wear. It just says 12 hour comfort. It doesn't say that they're actually going to last all day. So I'm very curious about that. I will do maybe a check in after I eat to kind of show you just how they last throughout the day. Let's try these on my cheeks. 
I should wipe my cheeks off, shouldn't I? Let's start with After Club, which is supposed to be more of a peachy color. Um, I think this is gonna be very light and it's gonna work well maybe with a lip liner, but I'm gonna test it out like this first. Okay. By the way, my lips are extremely dry right now. So uh, yeah, let's see how they feel. Okay, they feel very comfortable. They have a scent though. Yeah, they have, I guess, that Valentino scent. So if you don't like that, <clears throat> losing my voice, uh, you're not gonna like this if scent bothers you. This is a beautiful, very nudie, peachy color. This will work really well with a lip liner. Um, also, if you want to brighten up, just the lipstick in general, you can add it in the center. I actually really like this color. I'm so glad I picked it up. There was a pinker one and that just looked too pink. It does not feel like a liquid lipstick. It feels kind of like, um, almost like a balm on your lips. It's quite, quite interesting. I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's, it's liquid, but at the same time, it has a little bit of, I don't wanna say whipped, cause it's not whipped. It's just, there's some substance to it, to the formula. It's not just like completely liquid. It's just very thin. So it's a very unique formula. I don't think I have anything this like this i'm trying to build up the color a little bit and you can definitely build it up as you can see it almost looks on the lips maybe a little powdery very interesting so right here i have some dryness maybe i should have exfoliated before but this is a good way to test out these where you can kind of see it but i wouldn't say that it clings to that area more than any other liquid lipsticks uh, actually clings less to it, but it's not like it's blurring all my fine lines on the lips. Um, so yeah, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. It's a very different formula than a regular liquid lipstick. So this is After Club. I'm gonna put a little bit of a lip liner. This is Tower 28 uh, Work of Art. And just put a little bit of definition back into my lips. Okay, so I added a little bit of the lip liner and I'm gonna add this over it just to blend it in. This is kind of how I would wear this. Um, just I just need a little bit of a lip liner, maybe a, even more on the top, but I kind of want this color to show through. This is really interesting. I feel like I could apply this over and over and over and over, and it won't it won't feel drying or too much. It's a very light, light formula, very almost like a moisturizer, a lip balm very interesting formula. I'm gonna do the kissing test, although this has not dried down, so I feel like it's gonna transfer. Yeah, it does transfer. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna try to do one check-in after I eat something to see to see how this does. Oh, I wanted to put it on my cheek. Okay, let's put it on my cheek real quick because this is supposed to be able to be used on your cheek as well. I'm taking this refer number five and blending this out. It's very light. You know, the color is quite, quite light. But because of the formula, I can completely see how this would do really well on the cheek. It doesn't show up much, very little add a little bit more because it's such a light formula i can absolutely see this uh being really good cheek product that's really pretty i just had to build it up quite a bit it actually looks a very flattering on the cheek okay it's not super intense color so if you're fairer than me this may be actually really good if you're deeper than me this is not going to work it's just not going to show up 
but I like that. Okay, moving on. This one is 110A into the nude. And let's see how pink this looks. There was another color that was a little deeper nude, cool tone nude. I almost picked that one up. It's actually sold out um, on Sephora, but I had more requests for this one. So let's see. Yeah, it's pink. Okay, so this one has more pigment to it. And the applicator is nice. How is this a nude? Um, even for deeper skin tones, I kind of feel like there's just too much pink in it rather than mauviness for it to be an actual nude color. I'm not saying it's not a pretty color overall. I think it's nice. I just was not expecting this. However, love the formula. It's so interesting. Uh, the, so the more I play with them, they're kind of almost powdery, uh, a little bit moussey. I know in the beginning I said it's not moussey, but it's not that like whipped, moussey, uh, Fenty liquid lip or cream. This is just so much lighter and airy. And it it's almost giving you that powdery look to your lips. Um, it's not that super pigmented, which I really like this kind. Let's put it on the cheek. I kind of feel like it's gonna be beautiful on the cheek. I'm just gonna use the same brush because it's all I have here. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful as a blush. This is actually this is exciting. That is stunning. I like this one better as a blush rather than on the lips. And I didn't have to apply too much. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more, but um, definitely has more pigment. Obviously it's deeper, but it blends in super nice. It has almost like a, um, I wouldn't say a sheen, it's just very soft. Um, so even around the pores, I don't find that it, it emphasizes my pores at all. Ooh, this is nice. This is like a true lip and cheek kind of duo. Because many times they say, oh, this liquid lip can be used on the cheeks, but really ooh, you shouldn't, or it doesn't do a great job. It's good on one, but not the other. But this one really does such a good job at both of them. I actually think that's beautiful. Let me see if I could fade that out well i like i like the like almost um messy edge that this gives you can definitely um you know use a lip liner and make it smoother but i kind of like that when it's almost like a tint to your lips okay i love this as a blush i think it's redeeming the color um as a blush so this is the afterglow and here we have into the nude, right? Yes, into the nude. Moving on to the color C later. And I, I'm excited about this because I love these kinds of colors. Ooh, yeah. So this definitely is quite orangey. I'm curious how the other one that says that it's like a pure orange will look like. It definitely has a little bit of that red in it. So it's not just a pure orange, but it definitely, you know, leans a lot orange than a regular red. So what I like about this right now is that I'm so sloppy at applying this. I'm talking, just kind of moving a lot and no issues at all. It's just so interesting. It just seems like such an easy product to apply. I bet this is going to be beautiful, more like a stain. Okay, I am loving this color. Definitely my favorite so far. It's a it's a beautiful red orangey, but it's not so bright and um, just too much. It's a little bit more muted, yet it's still a color. I love that. I love the undertone. I love how it's not full saturation, yet it's very even. It's just a little bit more airy. These colors are just airier and easier to apply. Um, let's put it on the cheek because I think it's gonna look really nice on the cheek, I hope. Um, but 
on the lips is just stunning. Okay. This works on the cheeks as well. Let's see. I feel like it's a little patchy. No, it's okay. So right here I have a sunspot. So I always think the blush looks patchy there, but it's, it's always my, my little, um, sunspot. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to just take a little bit more off my hand and see if I build this up. That's a pretty color now i think because i put it straight on i think right where the sunspot is it removed some of the product underneath um, not anywhere else but just right there where the sunspot is yeah i just want to intensify the color a little bit more i love the color i love the cheek as well it's nice and just summery. I love this. It's so, so me. So this is See You Later. I have to say that these on the cheek, they look so beautiful and kind of blurring. That formula is just very flattering on the lips and on the cheek. Okay, let's do the last one. So I'm taking this off and you can definitely see that it almost stains your lips. So I have a feeling that these are going to last longer because they kind of almost stain your lips. Uh, once that glossiness fades, not even glossiness, but like right now, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've had this for since I started recording and there's still a sheen to them. It's They're not completely set. So I'm curious how long these will last. Okay, last one. Undressed Velvet. This also looks like a beautiful color. Oh, yes. Wow, these are so, so unique. So unique. Okay, so this reminds me of the See You Later, the more orangey, just not orangey, but they have the same depth. Um, and you can definitely see it here. Just one's just leaning more orange and one's just more red. Um, again, very wearable, even though it's a red, it's a very, very wearable. I love it. It's so easy to apply, so unique for, uh, just very innovative almost. Okay. I'm going to put some on my hand and then put it on my cheek. Cause I don't, I don't want to make the same mistake and be just too rough with this. Just move the mirror. Okay, so this one didn't give me that issue of lifting and I'm pretty sure it's just because I didn't put it straight on the cheek um, and I just, I'm working off of my hand. So here is Undressed Velvet. It's stunning, beautiful, very wearable red color. Here they are side by side. You can definitely sell, see that this has a little bit more orangey in it, and this is more of a true red, but they're, they're sim more similar than I thought they would be. Okay, so now that I've had these for whatever, 20 minutes or however long I've recorded, I don't think these are set yet. So I wanna, yeah, these are not set. Like they definitely move. So I don't think these are some that were, will completely set down. Um, I'm going to try to wipe them. I have just a wet wipe here. And they do come off. You know, there's a tiny bit of a stain there. Um, but I'm trying to scrub this off and see if it will come off. They do come off. So I really don't think that these are going to be super long lasting like um, the Lisa Eldridge liquid lipstick. But I do think that they're going to be long lasting. Um, I think they're going to last throughout the day, maybe drink something, you know, just basic things. But if you eat like a meal, I see how these will, um, will move around. But I will test that out and kind of record, you know, after and see how it looks like. But right now, I, I have some thoughts. I think that this is a very interesting and kind of new formula. They're very light, airy. On the lips, they give you that almost powdery, um, padded down look, which I absolutely love. Um, the intensity of these lipsticks are not as intense as 
you know, just a regular liquid lipstick. They're airier, they have um, some see-through to them, but very even. How can I say that? That doesn't sound bad. Uh, they're just, I mean, as you can see, this is supposed to be this intense red, but it's so much more wearable. These are just not super opaque, so they're more airy. They're more wearable. I absolutely love this look. I love that it's a red, that it's a true red, but very wearable. This reminds me a little bit of the Married Aperitif color. It kind of reminds me of that. I think that one's a little bit more corally, but just the same idea where there's this undertone and then the formula that is making it be more wearable. And on the cheek, I think they look so so beautiful i really love the afterglow i think that's going to be just a no-brainer kind of color um i don't love the into the nude it's just too pink for my lips i do like it on the cheeks but this was a disappointment love the deeper shades the more reddish colors absolutely stunning very flattering and i think it would flatter a lot of different skin tones now i'm kind of curious um of the color nude in motion that was another one that i was kind of interested and then there was nude in roma that is a deep warm brown honestly i may i may swap the into the nude for a different color just because i feel like i was i was led astray <laughs> with this color i would not have picked it up if it was you know in the description box that it was so pink and even on the models it looks like a beautiful nudie brown a little bit mauvey it does not look pink like that is not the color that was on my lips that's it for now i'll do one check-in and just finish the video there i'm not going to come back because i have so much to do today but the formula is nice it's something unique i think in innovative um but don't expect that full uh, dry liquid lipstick this is not it if anything it reminds me a little bit of the charlotte tilbury but these are more powdery or blurry effect uh, not on the lips but on the outside more almost lived in lips love it though um i i know there's a ton of liquid lipsticks that came out so i think i'm gonna try to test all of these out and do give you a ranking and or a video specifically you know comparing all these liquid lipsticks because there's been quite a few new formulas and i get so many questions to compare them and how is this compared to that actually i have one from nyx that it reminds me of it is this power puff this is expired so i probably shouldn't put it on my lips but it just kind of reminds me of this it has the same feel they're a little bit more i would say comfortable and maybe a little bit more liquid this is more powdery um see this is what i thought into the nude would look like that's kind of how it looked online it did not look this pink um but yeah it just gives me the same idea on the lips so if you i don't even know if these are still available these are incredible i have a few colors of them this is in the color cool intentions uh beautiful i wore this i, I mean it's almost gone um it's stunning so it kind of reminds me a little bit of this just more comfortable and a little bit more nourishing on the lips they feel they feel like a lip balm right now just for the fun of it i'm going to take the gucci one and kind of swatch it right here the gucci is more creamy and maybe more whipped uh, this one is just lighter in texture the gucci feels just a little bit more more creamy this one feels a little bit more liquid when i apply it i'm talking about the valentino but they dry down more powdery or like they give you more of that powdery effect that i love so much i feel like it's a combination between two these two between the nyx and the gucci one it's like a mix between these and it's beautiful and that's it for now i'm gonna see you in um, my check-in and kind of show you how it wore throughout the day okay so i have eaten something light um the lipstick's still kind of there it's just so different 
than what I expected this to be. I'm gonna make a coffee and kind of sip on that and do just one more checking after that. Um, but it's just so different. This is almost like, um, I mean, I know I mentioned that it was like a lip balm, but it's truly uh, light and airy and the color's just not full pigment. So I, it's just not what I expected. Let me put you down. <laughs> okay, that's just a little easier to talk. So it's just not what I expected from this. It's, it's just so, so different. Um, almost powdery feel, but balmy, um, where it, it has color, but it's not full opacity, but I don't feel like it's patchy either. So this is definitely something different uh, it's not like your regular liquid lipstick, so I don't want you to be disappointed watching this and getting it and thinking, oh, it just doesn't have enough color or pigment to it. It's just lighter. It's, it's lighter than what you think, and it's just a little bit more airy. I feel like that's the best way to describe these, just very airy on the lips. So, um, like I mentioned, I, I actually don't have anything to eat that's like oily that would probably remove this um but i'm gonna make a coffee and i'm gonna drink that and we'll see you know how much of this is on the cup i'm gonna do an iced coffee for that um and yeah we'll go from there so far this did last like decent it definitely has faded a little bit from like the first intensity but it's still nice it's still even i don't feel like i want to reapply I actually really like the way it looks right now um and it's just yeah I, it's different i don't think it's gonna last all day by no means like if i eat something greasy i don't think it's gonna last so um and honestly it didn't even have like from where i looked online on sephora it had no claims of this long lasting power it's just more uh, more comfort that they were saying that it would it has and it's very comfortable i don't feel it on again it just feels like a lip balm so i'm gonna make my coffee real quick andrew's gone sadly so he can't make my coffee he always makes get my coffee um but i'm gonna make my coffee and then um i'm gonna drink it edit some and then i'll let you guys know one more quick check-in in a little bit all right guys so this is the final check-in I have had my coffee, well, I'm still having it. Um, and it's actually been quite a few hours later because I was editing and cleaning and things like that. Um, but this is how the lipstick looks like. So I kind of was right when I was thinking that maybe it will leave this stain on your lips because there's absolutely no lipstick on my coffee. So, I kind of feel like this is gonna fade some, but they didn't stay that way um, throughout the day. So I have eaten with this and I have had my coffee and this is how we're looking like. I do think it's gonna fade if you eat something super greasy. I haven't done that. Sorry, I'm out of breath. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly loving this. New kind of interesting formula. It has a thumbs up. You just need to kind of know what to expect from this. Um, and I think you would love it. It's beautiful on the cheeks. I think it's, it's really lovely. And so overall, I know in the beginning I said it's $40. That's a lot of money and it is. But if you can use it as a blush and as a lip product, I then I kind of feel like it's it's worth the money. So these are my thoughts. I obviously will do an update in the future, but for now, I do like these. Uh, I want that brown color. Okay, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.